Okay, uh, yesterday I, uh, wanted to try to make a plane that, uh, you know, it's mouse controlled. Only, instead of having the inputs of the mouse immediately register into controls, I wanted to make the mouse kind of act like a, uh, joystick. Where you could leave it going one way, and then it would slowly kind of fly that way without actually viewing over there. I realized later that this is incredibly impractical. This was my first design, which, uh... I had changed into a keyboard-only control plane because having just one set of control surfaces did not work very well with that control scheme because you really can only go up and down or uh, roll left and right. You can't really do both at the same time very well. But uh, this isn't a bad flight model. It worked pretty well for that. But then after that I redesigned this today for my uh, main trial. And it's incredibly impractical. Uh, like, the actual flight model's good. This is a real good flyer. It uses ailerons on the back, like a canard plane, to uh, roll left and right. Just reasonable. And it's got upright stabilizers to keep it straight. And then it uses a uh, lift surface on the front, which uh, pitches it up and down. But, the reason why it's incredibly impractical is because I couldn't figure out how to get the, um, the value to return back to the center when you're not doing anything because you're using the mouse. So I had to make an oscilloscope to control the lift surfaces, which works fine. I mean, all that works completely fine. I just did some division stuff and, uh, the clamps on the iPod and got it so that you can control it just fine using the iPod. It's kind of conf but it's really confusing because you have to stare at the oscilloscope while you're flying. It works though, I mean, pretty well. But I think I'm going to have to figure out another way to control this thing. It is nice though to be able to steer like a joystick. I mean, I know there's joystick mods, but most people don't have joysticks. I mean, I've got one, but most people don't. It's got a uh, dead zone of plus or minus 20 on the... Uh, output of the iPod, so if you put it in the center, it doesn't do anything. But, uh, and then it's just like dividing a, uh, the value, it goes to plus and minus 500, and it just divides that by, uh, like 100 or something. So then it comes out to only plus or minus 5 or 10 for the control surfaces, really simple. But it's extremely confusing. Especially because I can't remember whether I made it inverted or not half the time I'm flying. Because it's easier for me to fly with it inverted on the oscilloscope, but uh, I always forget that while I'm flying. Because usually when you make it mouse powered, you don't invert the mouse. So it's kind of... But if you look away from the oscilloscope, you don't know where the mouse is. So that's kind of a problem. But the iPod doesn't have inputs to make it return to the center value. So yeah. But I think this controls better than uh, just having it give out this the speed of the mouse ver the speed of the mouse outputs because then it just immediately returns back and you need to be constantly just constantly lapping the mouse over your mouse pad over and over again to keep up a steady maneuver. Well, like this, I don't even need trim. I can just go like this and I'm flying without lifting too much. That's it. Dogs are barking. I'll go.